storm show. Ay, it's a storm show. And talk about Kimberly Noel Kardashian. She is no longer a West. She is no longer with that ninja. She is now with a white boy being digged down by a white boy, being dug out by a white boy, literally a boy, a boy that she could have had at 15 years old with all the common nut that she took as a teenager in high school, except for back then. She was her, her, her coochie back then was basically uh, blacks only for colors only. Um, whether you guys realize it or not, okay. Kimberly and her family is still on TV. They 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 still in the news. They still in the media. They are never gonna go away. They like that rash that you didn't have since camp since you was thirteen. They come back every three to six months with some bullshit, and that's exactly what this family has done. Oh, we need the Wonder Bread song. Oh, let me sing it. Let me sing it. We got. Oh, oh. Well, I got. Let me pick it up and let me sing it. We got that Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. That Wonder Bread news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, wonder bread, huh? We got that cool good news, that ski in news, that pedal news. Got this hunky around your kids' ass news. Got that wonder bread, wonder bread, that wonder bread news. Make they, they make they black ass daddy mad news. The reality news. I ain't got no fake booty no more news. Cause I want a white boy now news. But I got too many colored children ass news. So I'm stuck with a trash ass white boy ass news. We got that wonder bread, wonder bread. That wonder bread, wonder bread. That wonder bread, huh? We got that wonder bread news. And bitch, I held that note. I cracked a little bit, but I held that note or whatever. I forgot, and I'm jealous of my sister ass news because she's prettier than me news. Now, on the first episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians over there on Hulu, of course, the first damn storyline that they had to use was that, was that horrible ass sex tape that made that whole family famous, what, a decade ago, two decades ago at that point, at, at this point. Here's my thing, Kimberly. You claim that you don't want to talk about it, yet you always talking about this sex tape. And I'm going to say for a sex tape that was really not memorable, you should be thankful that at this point you're still making coins off of it because it was one of the worst lays that I had ever seen in my life. Now, I know allegedly you was high as hell off ecstasy and you had your original body and your original face back then. But I'm letting you know that if that is how you was, you know, getting dug out and I'm here to let you know, I don't understand how you even had all them ninjas all of these years. I don't understand why you was sought after. I mean, except for the fact that you was white. But other than that, you wore a horrible leg. Your head had no spit. OK, your coochie looked dry. Uh, You didn't move when you was in the bed. I mean, damn, I thought at least when you take ecstasy, you go into overdrive, you go hyper. But much like the way you talk and you. You know, guys, I'm going to, you know, be famous. You know, just like you talk with that California ass draw, that's exactly how you screw. Very slow, deliberate, and it wasn't cute at all. Your ass, I kept wondering why your ass was sweating in that sex day for a reason. When Ray J had your ear buffed down into that damn pillow. And you was, oh, my God, baby. Oh, my God, you're killing me. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he hadn't even penetrated you yet. You was over there sweating like your ass had popped a molly. But allegedly, you tried to say you was out of ecstasy acting like that man took advantage of you but you did but that man down sure didn't take advantage of you he, he if anything you took advantage of them i'm trying to figure out how you oh my god man, you, you killing my ass it wasn't that fucking big can't please stop you 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 was an overreactor or, or a fucking exaggerator but much like your career you made it to be way more important than it ever should have been kimberly that shit was terrible kimberly and so allegedly there's more versions of the tape that we really don't want to see there's more versions of it where you was doing nasty shit and apparently the one of the guys that Ray J was trying to shop the tape to because we all know that you shopped it. Girl, please stop kidding. Ray J was already telling the people in the streets that you was trying to be bigger than Paris. That's why you stole from Brandy for that, that rash ass, raggedy ass stole that was paying for Courtney and Chloe's townhome. That's why you stole $275,000 from the Norwoods. The blacks have helped try in every single way. As a matter of fact, our black asses, we, we think we need to storm the damn Capitol to get reparations. No, we need to storm all of the Kardashians' homes. All of them hoes owe us reparations. Except Courtney, 
We're going to give Courtney a pass because anybody that pulled a baby out their vagina on camera is cool with me. But other than that, all you hoes owe us reparations. The babies, too. I want a part of their trust funds, too. I don't give a fuck that they're 18. Yeah, they're going to pay exactly for what their ancestors done done. So here is my thing. She said she's tired of talking about the tape, but she keep using the tape as a damn storyline. So they kicked off their Hulu show with her being scared of different parts of this tape resurfacing. And, oh, my God, I can't let people see it. And over my dead body will this ever resurface. I am here to let you know, Kimberly. Allegedly, in the different cuts of the tape, you was getting nasty, nasty. My, now, my whole thing is this. Had your ass actually got nasty, nasty, we actually would have been inclined to buy that tape some more back then. You actually would would be getting more uh, 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 royalties off of the tape. Did y'all I know she gets 90 grand every few months off the tape. She done made over 20 million off the tape. So why in the hell is she complaining? If anything, your ass need to be you, you need to print a screenshot of damn of that damn tape on a t-shirt and sell it. You need to be reposting as much as you can because your sex is horrible. Rihanna says sex with me was so amazing. Sex with you, Kimberly, is trash. I'm not understanding. I'm I'm not your shit wasn't wet, your shit was dry, you was stiff, and the head had no spit. I was looking, the head had no spit, Kimberly. And if the head ain't got no spit, you must have quit. Ain't, ain't, ain't that what your daddy told OJ to say? Listen to me, Kimberly. You gonna use black men to the day you die. We need to see the other part. And I take that back. We need to see the other parts of the tape. Was you eating booty? Was you actually giving good head? Did he put it in your butt? Let us know, Kimberly. How nasty was you getting? Did y'all bring a third in? Was you licking snatch? I'm trying to figure out what's the problem. Oh, my God. It's, it was so nasty. What's nasty? You already getting screwed on camera. What's nasty? Did he come on your face? What? What? You the same one that oiled yourself up looking like a Krispy Kreme donut for a photo shoot and popped a bottle of champagne off your ass acting like a damn white version of Sarah Bartman. There is no more nastier than you to get. We have seen every single part of you and inside of you, Kim. There is nothing left of the imagination except for you to finally fess up to all that damn plastic surgery you done had. Still trying to convince us that ass was real all these years, but I see that ass going away. Thank you, Brittany, for the super sticker. I see that ass going away. I see you slowly morphing back into a white girl that a white man would actually want. But I'm here to let you know after you'd have been slutted out by every black man in the industry, you have had more African DNA roll through your bloodstream than the, than the fucking sewer drains in the men's locker rooms at Howard University. You have had so much black DNA go through you that your, I mean, I mean, at this point, if we do a 23 and me test on your ass, you got to be at least two or three percent black. I mean, they say that nuts stand you forever and you have taken in so much nuts because we know you don't use no fucking rubbers. And so you is where you, you is where you is. You do what? You worried about the kids seeing the tape? Kids ain't going to give a damn about that damn tape. We more worried about you putting all that damn makeup on North. All right, I'm going to leave that there. It uh, it's Storm Show. Ay, it's Storm Show.